What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crown Performance. As always, Coach Kyle right here. My brother, Coach Graham, behind the camera. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. It's late. One day. Okay. Two One days. Day. <laughs> All right. Now, today, I'm going to talk to you about something called the Law of Irradiation. Uh, the thing that motivated me to do this video is I saw a video from uh, another strength coach named Charles Poliquin. And if you don't know him, he's just one of the most respected coaches in this industry. Nonetheless, he was talking about some guy squatting and uh, the guy, when he was squeezing the barbell on his back, he was able to get better or more out of his squat than he was getting before. The, move, the, the movement was going smoother and then he was able to add a little bit more load. And Charles Baldwin in this, in this uh, post, he said he wasn't quite sure as to why that was happening. I explained to you why it was happening. Um, not from a cocky standpoint, more from the standpoint of Charles Poliquin, I bet, is one of these people that is probably, he knows so much about the body that he has probably forgotten more about the body than I know, period, about the body. So I'm not saying this as he doesn't know it, it's just one of those things that there's so much information in his head, it's probably one of those things over the years that just kind of slip by him. But nonetheless, the law of irradiation is essentially stating that no matter what joint is the prime mover of the exercise or the muscle that acts on that joint, no matter which one that is, the more tension you can have in the muscles surrounding that joint and around that joint, that tension is going to irradiate to the prime mover. So, for example, if I'm doing a bent over row, and even though my upper back and lats are the prime movers of it, the more tension I can keep in my glutes in the stretched position, the more tension I can keep in my legs and my feet grounding to the floor, it's going to make an easier working platform for the bent over row. Same thing in the bench press when people talk about driving your legs into the floor, an overhead press and being grounded and squeezing your abs and your butt. Even though my feet are so far away from the working part in the bench press, the more I can push them into the floor, the tension from that is going to radiate through my legs. As long as I'm squeezing my glutes and keeping my core nice and tight, that tension is going to continue to irradiate and help me move that barbell and keep the path as consistent as possible. So, when you're doing your exercises at, at, at a gym, don't forget, just because there's one part of your body moving, let's say you're doing a lat pull down, see how well you can feel grounded to the floor no matter what direction that bar is in and you might have an easier time doing it. It's going to take some practice because it, then it's a lot of focus for your brain to be thinking about different parts of your body. But that's what training is, it's brain training. Alright guys, thanks, that's everything for today. Prompt performance. We put performance first. Peace!